They labour are already the guilty ones. But National, ACT, the Māori Party and the Greens all participated and, and, and agreed and consented to a cross-party gagging uh, order into all of the parties that no politician who we voted and represent us would go out onto the front step to at least uh, hear or speak to the people of New Zealand. Not one showed up. That was the moment that democracy died in New Zealand. If it wasn't already dying, it died right there. They committed democratic treason. So the government's unlawful. That's why I said before, it's not just the worst government in our New Zealand history, it's the worst opposition in our New Zealand history. National Act, the Māori Party and the Greens, none of them deserve a vote from any warm-blooded Kiwi. You cannot vote them. While Labour were damaging our country, taking away our jobs, ruining our businesses, dividing and separating our families, and taking away our freedom and our rights, and spreading mental misery on the population, Luxton and also Seymour, I'm naughty, stop it. Seymour and the Māori Party and the Greens stood by and they watched. That's the opposition party. They're supposed to be standing up for the people, protecting us, speaking on our behalf when a government begins to harm its own people. They stood there and they actually consented to the actions of the damage that they were destroying this country with from that, that particular party. They did nothing about it. They said nothing. So we have a parliament now that no longer is a democratic institution. It is an institution that's run by party politics that has raped the people's power from them. So anybody here, me now, across the airwaves, you need to understand this. You cannot vote any party that's presently in there. Here are the best people here. This is the best people right here tonight. They are. We don't have the best people in there. Half of them don't even know what they're doing. They don't even know why they're there. They get somebody that ran a preschool, and I'm not putting down preschool workers, wonderful teachers, but they give her the, the police portfolio as the Minister of Police, and she doesn't know how to run it. So we've got all these problems over the country with crime and gangs. And what's going on in our country right now is not acceptable. So you cannot vote. So you're probably saying, who can we vote for then? Well, we'll see it again tonight. The only way that we can make some type of in inroads, and you said it and you were right, that we have to change our political establishment. It's time for political change. And if it doesn't happen in 2023, it will never happen in our lifetime. And the New Zealand I want to leave for my children and my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren is not the New Zealand that we're living in right now. That's not the New Zealand. That's not the New Zealand that I grew up in. I'm 64 years old. I know I don't look it, but <laughs> it's a new breed of great-grandfather, young and good-looking. <laughs> I, got, I got three children, married adults with my wife. We have 10 grandchildren, and I'm a th I have three great-grandchildren who I'm going to, I'm just missing. I've been down the Hawke's Bay talking this stuff and I'm going home to them, I really miss them. But I'm looking at them and I'm thinking, I've got to fight for their future. I've got to fight for the flag. I've got to fight for their faith. I've got to fight for their freedoms and their rights. And it's not over until we say it's over. We don't, they, we don't need them, they need us. And they've got into a habit of getting our vote, but they forget about the voter. They're going to do the same as you said here. This guy that the National have brought in, I don't know where he's come from, I don't even think he lives here. He's been in the country for a few months and um, he's a banker. So Luxton wants him in there to, for his uh, financial and taxing, not taxing the rich or whatever, and he wants to get on with it to try and manoeuvre him into the, eco the economy of the future. He's not thinking about tauranga. 
And you're right, Sue. He'll get in there and they gagged because party policy or politics now rules over the power of the people. We must get our power back. So, and, I, and I'm off. So uh, <clears throat> we have to unite. There's no tolerance and there's not an appetite in the voters for separate parties to try and do their own thing. We must come together. We must form an umbrella. We must come together because I'm telling you right now, we will not win by ourselves. No individual party will make it.